2020 B problem number eight. All right, so what is problem number eight? Now, it's unexpectedly easy, actually. There's just one little weird trick uh, that is much easier when you know the solution than when you're faced with a problem. So, basically, the main trick is changing your point of view and leading a new life. No, I'm just kidding. It's changing your reference frame, which is basically like point of view. So, uh, I haven't even explained the problem yet. So let's do it. So, we have a block, and the block has lost a V to the south. And it falls onto a conveyor belt, well, slides actually. It specifies slides because otherwise it would gain velocity as it fell down. So, we assume that it slides down onto the conveyor belt, which is moving at a velocity V to the east. So these two have the same magnitude, but different directions. So it says that if the uh, uh, if the conveyor belt has a coefficient of friction mu, uh, then uh, what is the stopping time, or how long will it take for the block to stop? Well, what we have to do is, because having the velocities of two different objects makes it a little complicated, we can change to the reference frame of the conveyor belt. In the reference frame of the conveyor belt, it, the conveyor belt is not moving. So, the block, as a result, has to be moving this way instead, in, in the reference frame of the conveyor belt. Uh, well, that's how reference frames work. So just get a briefing on reference frames. We don't understand. Them. So that means the total velocity or the magnitude of the velocity is v root two southwest. And now, how do we? Uh, we've quantified v root two as our magnitude, and we know v final is zero. So what's our acceleration? Well, we know that the force of friction is equal to mu c b m g. And thus, since the, uh, since the net force is ma, and the only force acting right now is the force of friction, the only force acting that isn't being balanced, uh, then we see that mu cb mg should be equal to ma, or in other words, a is equal to mu cb times g. So, that means that our time, vf equals vi, my, uh, plus at is going to be this. So our velocity, uh, our final velocity is zero. We can say our initial velocity is a uh, v root two, and then we have at. So plus mu c b z t. That's t. Okay. So uh, now we can just find the time really easily because we get oh yeah. And I forgot the frictional force is going to be a big minus because it's decelerating. We get mu C B G T equals V root 2, or in other words, T equals V root 2 over mu C B G, or V root 2 over mu G, which is the answer. That's it. Thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.